What's going on guys? This is All Day DFS coming to you today with a quick tutorial video on how to play price picks. I've gotten a couple messages and comments asking me to make this kind of video if I can help them out. So I decided to go ahead and make a little quick tutorial on how to play price picks. So hopefully this can help you or anybody searching on how to play price picks. Guys, this is a great game. First off, this is a great game. Um, I've been able to make a lot more money here than I have in other games. So I really, really recommend this site. I recommend you play this. It's just you versus the projections. You're not going to go. You're not going up against 300,000 people to try to make all this money. You know, you enter with 20 bucks, and then you know you don't have a shot of making any money most of the time. Going against the sharks. Here it's totally different. Um, you enter with 20 bucks, you can turn that into 200 right away. And as you're just going against the projections, you're not playing against any sharks. You're not playing out, you know, against all these experts, against you know somebody at their home and their basement of running three computers, you know, doing all these stats and doing all this stuff, lineups, all kinds of crazy stuff. You're just playing against the projections. So basically how it goes right now, price picks, and I'm doing this video at night, so price picks only has late night. So price picks only has eight players on the board. Um, usually um, in the morning they go ahead and they start putting out, you know, pretty much all the players that are playing that night. And also, once they do that, they put what's called the single stat. Now, the single stat is not available right now because, like I said, it's late night. But you'll, you'll have fantasy score, which is the total fantasy score that they're projecting them to have in the game. And then you'll have single stat, which will have points, assists, and rebounds that you can pick from, too. So, right now, Stephen Curry is projected at 51. When you go to single stat, he might project, be projected at 25 points. So, you're either going to pick the over on the under if you think he's going to score over 25 or under 25. So, um basically you can pick anywhere from two to five players to play um, when you pick two you can do a two pick power play and that will give you three times your money so that will give you three times your money if you get those two right but you can also flex it and flexing is really good for for beginners because if you're not confident if you're not sure if you're not doing any kind of research if you're just going based off of what you think um, flex your plays you can flex them and it's a safer play now you don't get the the same amount of money if you win so if you flex this if you flex a two-player um, play you only get two times your money so if you get it right um, let's say we bet 20 if you get it right you get $40 back if you get one right you get 0.5 back so you still get you still make something back if you just get one right so flexing is, is smart for the beginners if you want to go ahead and do that I've always played power from the beginning. I've been a power player. I just I like going for it all. That's just my my way of doing things. But I've learned that along the way. I've always you know there's always some times where you get one player wrong. I'm like damn if I would have flexed it I would have I would have won something you know. So be smart. Flex it if you want to in the beginning. Um, as you can see here I have two hundred and five dollars in credit. I just recently made a um, withdrawal. So I left two hundred and five in, in my bankroll. Guys, be, be smart about your bankroll, you know, um, especially if you're in all these chats and all these groups where you see these guys betting $400 in one bet, betting 200 and, you know, you start off with only 200 you know, be smarter. If you want to do a big bet, bet 50 and do some other little bets. Build up your bankroll, build up your bankroll so that you can have $1,000, $2,000 in there. Then you can play the $400 bets, the $200 bets, the $100 bets, but that's a whole other video. So then we could, we could also do three players. So you can do a three-player power. If you do a three a three player power, you'll get five times your money. So if you enter twenty, you can win a hundred. Again, if you flex it, you get three right. You get two point two five your money. So if you enter twenty, you get forty five back. If you get two right out of the three, you get one point two five your money. So again, um, if you're not confident about your picks, if you're not sure, just go ahead and flex it. If you want to go all in, you do the power play. You know risk it for the biscuit and get more money you can also go to a four pick power play so on four picks the power play is ten times your money so when I joined that that was all I was doing was four pick power plays be smart about it four pick power plays are hard because you know you got to get all four of them right so obviously the odds are you know less in your favor if you go with a two pick or a three pick you have a better chance of winning obviously but you know I see this big 10x and that's what <laughs> that's what I always went for so if you get four picks right you get four times I mean you get ten times your money so you enter 20 you get 200 
So if you flex it and you get full right, you get five times your money. So it's still it's still a good a good uh, payout to five times your money. So if you enter twenty, you get a hundred dollars back. If you do three, if you get three out of the four right, you get one in a, one point five back. So it's not bad. And you can also do five five players, a five pick power. Well, actually, not a power. I'm sorry, five pick uh, flex. When you do five, you can only do flex. There's not a power option for five at the moment. So if you do five and you get all all um, everyone correct you get 10 times your money so doing a, a, a five pick uh, play a five pick uh, five plex play flex play I'm sorry um, everything's kind of there I mean if you get all five of them right you're still getting that 10 times so if you want to go for that 10 times but you still want to be a little bit on the safe side do the the flex play for five players you get five right you get 10 times your money back if you get four out of the five you get two times your money back and if you get three you get 0.4 back so it's a safer way, but it still has that reward in there if you do get all your players right. So you might you might want to look into that if you if you still want a chance at the big money or the ten times your money, go ahead and go with the flex play with the five player flex play, and you get ten times back if you get them all right. Um, so what you can also do, let me see, you can also mix NBA. I mean, if you if you if you know anything about PGA. So you can go ahead and come and pick a PGA player and go over, you know, go over under whatever it might be. But you can mix sports. You can mix PGA with NBA, college basketball, you know, CSGO, LOL, which I want to get into these. I really do. So I need somebody to train me on those. Anybody out there who knows about these, help me out. <laughs> tennis, you know, you can mix a tennis player in there. You can mix a, soc you can mix a soccer player in there. So guys, if you if you're playing and you're only confident about two basketball players, you know, I say, hey, you know, NBA tonight, I'm only I'm only feeling good about two guys, but over here on soccer, I'm feeling good about three guys. Okay, well, mix three soccer in with with two NBA guys. Um, also, again, when when single stat becomes available, you can mix single stat with with full game. Um, the only thing you can't do, which is which is also not on the board right now. You can also play first half and second half and fourth quarter. There's, there's all kinds of different plays as the games are going on. Um, or before they start, you can do a first half. But you can't mix first half with full game. Um, so that's that's only that. You, first half, you have to be all first half. But again, you can mix NBA with soccer, PGA. They have MMA. They have pretty much everything. They have it on there. So I think that's about it. Um, again, you know, you can do a two pick, a three pick, a four pick, or a five pick, and you can flex it. If you're not confident, you can always flex it. If you're beginning, and you don't have a high bankroll, you you know, starting off with twenty bucks, fifty bucks, flex them, flex them, so that you can start to build that bankroll. Once you build that bankroll up, then you can go big on your bets. Um, if you have any questions, comment down below. I'll be happy to answer anything that I can. This was a quick tutorial. And I hope it helps y'all guys. And um, this is how to play price picks with all day DFS. Check the check down below, comment, um, join our Discord community, and uh, I look forward to to hearing back from you.